Hello everyone, my name is Reza from Radacad and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, some simple time intelligence functions to drive some simple calculations like year to date, uh, calendar year to date, fiscal year to date, um, quarter to date, uh, month to date and all those uh, simple calculations. Let's check it out. Um, here I have the AdventureWorks uh, dataset example. If you want to download this example, uh, follow the link on my uh, blog post down under this video uh, in the description below. Um, my model has the sales table, uh, customer table, product table, but the main two tables that I'm using for this example is fact internet sales and dim date. Now to do time intelligence, one of the main things you need is a date table i'm using uh, and there are different ways to use it you can use the normal date table the default date table in power bi uh, or you can create your own custom custom date table i'm using uh, the default date table i have written a blog post about what is the difference between custom date table and the default date table again link is down below in the description uh, go ahead and have a look on that uh, so here i have a table my table has a date field in it. So full date alternate key is my date field. And because I'm using the date, uh, the default date table, it automatically comes with the hierarchy. And I'm showing the sales amount value, which is just the normal sales uh, amount. It shows the sales of every single day. I just make this slightly bigger as well. Uh, the sales of every single day. Now, what I want to achieve is a few calculations uh, based on date and time, which we call it time intelligence because you get uh, insight from date and time field. The first one I want to do is a year to date calculation. Um, to do these calculations, usually you can start with a measure simply. So I'm going to the modeling tab, creating a new measure. Um, okay, now let's me let's make this measure slightly bigger. You can use Control and plus minus or the mouse wheel to make the expression part of tax bigger. Um, now let's say I would call this uh, sales year to date. I have created another video explaining about how to do year to date, but that was just a simple year to date. Um, now I'm going to add some more examples to that as well. So for a year to date calculation, one of the easiest way, uh, or let's say for most of the calculations in DAX is to use the calculate function. Calculate function is a quite generic function. It gives you a lot of abilities in DAX. You can use that to calculate an expression based on a number of filters. And in DAX, your scenario of calculation most of the time is like that, expression based on a number of filters. Now, our expression here is uh, sales. So uh, because sales is a column, so I'm saying sum of the sales amount. Now, if you have that as a measure, you just use that measure directly here. Um, and the filter, I'm using a function called dates YTD. Dates YTD gives me the dates year to date from the 1st of January of every year to that given date in the visual. Now for this function to work, you need to provide a uh, date column. And the date column that we have in our uh, visual is full date alternate key. Now because I'm using the default date table in Power BI, when I click on that, I see the hierarchy and columns under that because it is behind the scene another date table and from this i select dot date if you are using your own custom date table then you don't need this dot date anymore um, so my calculation is just that calculate some of the sales amount uh, for the dates ytd period based on the date now i'm going to add this calculation in the visual and show you how the calculation is done so here is the calculation. Uh, the way that this calculation works is that for any given day, let's say for example for fourth of uh, for fourth of July, this value fifty thousand is actually accumulated values of all of these. Or when I look at for example tenth of July, this value is accumulated value of first of July to tenth of July. Now it's starting from. Uh, 1st of July, so you might think that this is not a calendar year to date and it is a uh, fiscal year to date, which is not correct. The reason for that is that my dataset starts from 1st of July. 
if this data was starting from 1st of January, it was starting from 1st of January. Now to make it a little bit more clear, I'll go to here and remove the day. Now you can see that uh, this is starting from July, accumulating all the values till end of the year, which is December. Again in January, restarts, right? All the way to the end of the year, December, January, again restarts. So that's a calendar year to date, of course. Now, how you can make this fiscal year to date? The question that I get most of the time from people is how they can make it fiscal year to date. Let me show you how to, ma how to make it fiscal year to date. It would be exactly the same expression. I can even copy that expression, create a new measure with that expression. Uh, the only part that changes is in dates year to date pre uh, dates year to date function. Uh, the second parameter, which I haven't provided before, is year end date, and that's a default. Uh, that's a um, um, optional parameter. Any parameter that you see inside the square bracket is an optional parameter. When you don't specify a value, the default value will be used, and default value is thirty first of uh, December of any given date. So if I want this to be different, let's say, for example, for me, 1st of July is 1st of calendar year, then I would do it this way. I would say year end date is month June, day 30th. There are other formats that works as well, like, for example, you can say uh, June 30th or uh, 30 slash 6 or other things. But this format always works and I have to set it across all different machines. Uh, so end of June is end of fiscal year. Everything else is exactly the same. So I just added this part. Um, sorry, I have to rename it as well. So let's call it this is sales year to date fiscal. So only with adding this at the end of dates year to date. Now when I come back here and put this calculation, you see it is accumulating similar to the previous one, similar to the normal year to date, but the difference you can see it here. The difference is that in January, the normal year to date restarts while the fiscal year to date still continue accumulating all the way to the end of June because that's end of the fiscal year and restarts at 1st of July. Right. So this way we made that calculation a simple um, uh, fiscal calculation. Now, there are uh, other types of these calculations as well. I can create another measure, let's say this measure is sales quarter to date. It's very similar to that one, so I write it quite fast. So sum of the sales amount. Um, and the filter would be instead of dates year to date, we will use dates quarter to date. And when I use that, you can actually see that there is also dates month to date as well. So month to date will be exactly the same. The only difference is the function name. So I would use dates quarter to date. And same thing, full date alternate key, which is my date field. Most of the time, intelligence functions requires the um, the date um, field to be specified, right? So with this calculation, which is only different from year to date with the queue in the function name and the queue in the uh, measure name, uh, just to make it a different measure, uh, now I achieved quarter to date. I can come here and bring quarter to date and you can see here that the quarter to date value accumulate at the beginning of every quarter uh, all the way to the end of the quarter and then again from first of quarter like October all the way to December, January to March so it's uh, for every quarter. A month to date would be exactly the same however if I put month to date in this context which I have month only I don't have days the month to date value would be similar to the sales amount value anyway. If I want to see month to date in a proper context, I should have like a day uh, or week or something like that, that I can feel the difference of month to date compared to the normal sales amount. So here you go. We had uh, some calculations, very simple calculations, index using um, dates year to date, dates quarter to date and month to date to calculate uh, some simple calculations in DAX and Power BI. I will write, I will explain uh, some more DAX time intelligence functions in future videos. If you liked our videos, go ahead and subscribe to uh, Radicad YouTube channel and go ahead and watch uh, and read our articles in Radicad websites as well. Thank you.